S&P 500 and NASDAQ closing at all-time highs. The Dow up, gold up, real estate. Hello and welcome to another TrendSpider technical analysis series video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the super trend indicator. We'll touch on what it is and how it's measured, and most importantly, how you can utilize it to boost the returns of your trading strategies. Let's jump into it. The Super Trend Indicator is a technical analysis tool that can be used to help identify the current trend of the market. Generally speaking, when the price is trading above the indicator, that's considered to be more bullish and traders can consider long biased opportunities. If the price is trading below the indicator, that's considered more bearish and traders can consider short opportunities. The indicator is derived from two values, the average true range and a multiplier. The average true range is a way to define an asset's volatility, and the multiplier acts as a means to offset the indicator from the price. If you'd like less signals, the multiplier can be adjusted up to a larger value which will widen the area between the indicator and the price. If you'd like more signals, the multiplier can be adjusted down to a smaller value which will tighten the area between the indicator and the price. It's also important to consider that the appropriate parameters can vary based on the asset being traded, the time frame, and the current market conditions. Now that we understand how the super trend indicator is calculated and how it can be adjusted, let's talk through some ways that you can begin to implement it into your regular analysis. One of the simplest ways to implement super trend into your daily analysis is to scan for setups that employ it. For example, let's say you're looking for names currently in longer-term bullish uptrends. Well, we can find them with Supertrend. We'll define price as being greater than Supertrend and increase the multiplier to a value of 6. As mentioned earlier, this increase in the multiplier value makes flips less frequent and gives the trend room to breathe. Once we've found names we're interested in, we can set alerts directly on the Supertrend indicator with a simple right-click. Traders can define the condition of the alert, choose a time frame and a number of alert signals, and the platform will instantly and automatically begin monitoring for those conditions to be met. Some traders also like to look for confirmation of super trend alignment across multiple time frames. This can be achieved in two ways. First, by using the multi time frame analysis tool, which allows you to see your indicators on two time frames at once. The indicator will be marked as a solid line for your chart time frame and a dashed line for your secondary time frame. If multiple lines muddy up the chart too much for you, the conditions of the super trend can be defined within a script. In this example, we have bullish signals for the super trend indicator on the 15 minute hourly and daily time frames. This script can then be inputted into TrendSpider's smart checklist. As you toggle through the names within your watch list, you can instantly see which conditions are true and which are false. A green box next to the condition means that it's true, where a red box means that it's false. If all boxes are green, then the asset is currently in super trend alignment. Now that we understand how to implement the super trend indicator into our regular analysis, let's next work through some trading strategies that utilize it. A common folly amongst newer traders is to attempt to trade solely with the super trends buy and sell signals, simply going long when the price is above it and short when the price is below it. Though it is possible to find instances in which that strategy works well, traders attempting to use this indicator in isolation will likely be disappointed with the results, particularly during sideways or range-bound markets. Why? Because this indicator isn't designed to provide standalone buy-sell signals. It's a trend filter, and it's meant to be used in tandem with other indicators. Let's build out an example using the buy-sell signals as a base. We'll start with a long idea on the 15-minute time frame of the QQQ ETF. First, we'll input that we want to enter into a long position when the price is above the super trend and exit when the price is below it. When we test this very basic strategy, we find that it performs okay, but it doesn't beat buy and hold over the same period of time. In addition, its win rate is simply too low to be considered a worthwhile strategy to employ as is. Next, let's try adding some additional criteria to our entry. Since we know that the super trend doesn't perform well in sideways or trending markets, let's use a moving average to define that price is in an uptrend. 
We'll use the 200 EMA to express this idea and define that price is currently greater than it. When we rerun the test, we find that this adds a small percent to our total return, but fails to beat buy and hold, and there are still issues with our win rate. So let's next add another indicator into the mix. In this example, we'll use parabolic SAR. When we add it to our charts, we see that it moves a bit faster than our super trend, meaning it provides more signals. So let's take the idea from earlier and define an alignment of the PSAR and the super trend. To do this, we'll define within the entry conditions that PSAR is greater than super trend and that price is greater than PSAR. On the exit side, we'll add a condition that defines that price is below or less than the PSAR. Now, when we run the test, we see we're starting to get somewhere. We're beating buy and hold over the same period of time, and we see no no-go highlighting in our tabular data, which is a signal that this strategy is worthy of being employed over a longer duration. From here, we can maximize the view on our Price Behavior Explorer to determine how far our winning trades tend to draw down and how far they tend to run before cooling off. With a quick glance, we can see they tend to pull back about half a percent before reversing and going positive, and they tend to gain about 6% before cooling off. So let's set a stop loss of half a percent and a take profit of 6%. With these simple changes, we increase our total return by nearly 30%. Not bad. Let's build a bearish strategy next. In this next example, we consider a short position on Tesla using the 15 minute time frame. We start by entering our short when the price is below the super trend and exiting when the price is above it. Using what we found in our previous test, we want to also add an additional entry and exit filter. In this case, we'll utilize a momentum indicator like Stochastic RSI. Stochastic RSI helps us to easily visualize overbought and oversold conditions. We only want to take a short trade if we're in overbought territory, meaning Stochastic RSI is greater than 80, and we only want to sell if we're in oversold territory, less than 20. We add those conditions and rerun the test to find that although this strategy just manages to beat buy and hold, it does contain some fundamental flaws. We can utilize our performance chart to see how the stock tends to react after we've gotten in a position. We can see that the return of our strategy was performing really well initially, but all of what we gained was given back once the stock started to reverse from its downtrend. There are many ways to consider controlling this, but let's use another moving average condition like we did previously and define that price must be below the 200 EMA in order to enter into a position. Making that simple change certainly helps, but we still have one flaw in our strategy, which is that it just doesn't take enough trades. We can combat this in a number of ways. First, let's loosen the stochastic RSI criteria and make the overbought value 70 instead of 80. Additionally, let's add a tight stop loss to avoid any scenarios where we might be getting into a trade just before the trend changes again. We rerun the test and the results are quite positive. We now have beat buy and hold over the same period by nearly 70% and the absence of no-go highlighting suggests that this strategy is safe to run. So there you have it a full breakdown of the super trend indicator, and even some actionable and profitable strategies that you can begin using today. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. Happy trading, and we'll catch you next time.